Okay, so the next thing I want to cover is Taskmaster's follow-up potential off of his counter super, the secret move. Uh, because once he goes into this move, you get a long cutscene super. You blast him across the screen, and you can actually, if you have another mirror, you can just kind of jump up and super them. Um, but that's not the greatest. Uh, the super doesn't even really hit fully, doesn't do a whole lot of damage for what it's worth, and... Um, there are other things you can do, especially with She-Hulk assist. Um, what you can do is, after, after the super, you can call She-Hulk and, uh, OTG them. And there's enough time, like how, in, normally when you would use her in combos, you can wave dash up to them and be in perfect position to follow up. And, uh... The preferred combo that I like to do off of this is involves a little bit of uh, reps. And the first rep is going to be um, jump B, or rather jump, sorry, jump C, mighty swing, and then the horizontal arrow. So it'll look a little something like this. A little something like that. So that's the first rep. And uh, the second rep, you're going to be able to jump up. And this time you're going to go with jump B, jump C, mighty swing, and the hor and the diagonal arrows this time, not the horizontal. So that'll look a little something like this. Like that. So put it all together and it looks a little something like this. Something like that. And then after that, it's more or less uh, easy from there. You just go and do shield skills, launcher, and then one, two, three, four. B, B, C, S. And the reason that you're doing this is because the um, the arrow loops in the beginning do so much damage because, as you can see, aim of Hawkeye is like 135 unscaled. So um, adding those in as, as soon as you can in the combo, netting two of those, you get this one, and then you get you know that horizontal, and then you get the diagonal arrows. That's a lot of damage considering that it you know you just did like the whole counter super and stuff like that. So it's actually more damage efficient to get those in early and then just end it in a real uh, simple manner. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you put it all together. So here it goes. All right, so there you have it. Um, not not too hard, honestly. Once you get the timing down for everything, a couple things that I will say is that. Off of the first arrow rep, uh, you want to roll with the swing. And what I mean by roll with the swing is that you want the swing to get to the point where he's flying forward so that you can get momentum off the arrows. And what this will do is it'll just help you with overall positioning. It'll keep you closer to them because this attack doesn't have the greatest range. Uh, you don't want to be like this far away from them after the first rep. You kind of want to more or less be like right around here. Uh, that's a lot it makes the combo a lot easier and The second the second rep with the diagonal arrows. You don't really have enough time to roll with the swing So just cancel that one a little bit earlier and it's not it's not a bad thing because you'll have by then you'll be using The shield skills and that has enough horizontal range to cover the space that it really will, so It's no big deal So again, just make sure you roll with the roll with the first swing Second swing, you don't have enough time, so just uh, do it uh, normally and just cancel it uh, more or less as soon as possible without dropping the combo. But yeah, uh, it costs a little bit of meter. It costs two meters, but to be fair, the first, the second meter builds itself. So this is technically just a one meter combo. You just need enough for the counter super. Although I will say that honestly, in most situations, you'll probably be DHCing out of like you know a She Hulk. Or something into the counter because you want to punish like a physical super or something like that. So, uh, with that in mind, that's uh, Taskmaster's follow up off of Secret Move.
Okay, so the last thing I want to talk about is Taskmaster's X Factor. Taskmaster's X Factor is great as always because now that you can, you know, do it in the air, you can do an air super. X you can like do an X, X Factor second air super, which is always nice. Great for happy birthdays if you get it. But as far as his normal combos go, it does let him kind of drop a little faster than I would like for his combos to be consistent. So if you're gonna X Factor. You know, try to keep it simple, and keep and just keep in mind that you know he will fall a lot faster than normal. Uh, generally, if you want to cancel into X Factor, it's usually a good idea to do it after like a shield skill or something, because they just float there. Uh, see, look how they fell out like that. Once he starts accelerating to the ground, it's pretty bad. You can just see how f how much he floats in his normal jump, and then when he, like level two X Factor, he accelerates pretty fast. Uh, but the good thing about level 2 and level 3 X-Factor is that he still has the loot from vanilla that you can exploit. And basically any hit confirm with the shield skills in the corner can do it. And, you know, you, you could be tempted to do a lot of loops. Like, you want to just kill them with the loot, but, you know, it's better to just build the super and kill them. Because it saves your X-Factor time, which is precious in this game. It's, um, and... You don't want them to fall out of this loop. It's kind of embarrassing when that happens. But you can hit confirm it off of like uh, standing, crouching, jump in, double shield skills, and all that. Uh, in level three X Factor, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty free. Uh, you can even do like a mighty swing hit confirm if you want it. Those uh, the vanilla hit confirm. Like that. Kill them. But yeah, other than that, uh, you basically want to just save Taskmaster's X Factor for special times, like either, like I said, happy birthdays are always good. Like if you catch someone, one, two, three, like that, and you notice you have two characters, you can, uh, you know, super, super them afterwards, and then X Factor super again, which is great. And one of the good things is that when you're when you're hitting two characters, generally, uh, because of the extra hits, it slows down a little bit. The game can't handle it, so it slows down a little bit. So you'll be able to see like, oh, I got two characters, you know, and super them. Like that. Uh, but yeah, other than that, uh, just keep in mind that you have that option in the corner to basically erase one character, and that could basically make or break the game for you, especially if Taskmaster is alone, so. Yeah, that's basically the gist of Taskmaster's X Factor. Just keep it simple, look for happy birthdays, and uh, just remember that the loop is always available. Okay, so I just wanted to review a little bit of what we covered in this tutorial. Uh, we covered, you know, how She-Hulk, Spencer, they're just basically extensions of Taskmaster, uh, allowing him to continue doing what he does best, which is dish out more damage, uh, more of those hard knockdowns that he has so many of. Uh, it's always great for extra damage and, more importantly, extra meter. His normals are pretty big, pretty amazing. So he can hit confirm off of almost anything, whether it be air to air or on the ground. Your job is just to keep in mind where you started hitting them, what you hit them with, and basically being able to process within that small time, okay, what combo am I going to do? What hit confirms do I have available off of this? What's going to fall out? What's not going to fall out? So that's basically something you just have to keep doing over and over and over in practice against people until you get it down. And another thing we, we went over was uh, his bread and butter. And basically, his bread and, the bread and butter that I showed, um, I highly encourage you, if you're not satisfied with that bread and butter, to just take bits and pieces of it and you know make your own combos. Because the, the beauty of that bread and butter is that you can modify it uh, many different ways to your liking. So use your imagination and go nuts with that. And I also showed his options off of you know throws and his counter super, basically taking advantage of his quick OTGs and his range and stuff like that. So 
I think it's really great to have the She-Hulk assist with this team specifically because of stuff like that. Um, the counter super blasts them all the way across the screen, but you know She-Hulk can make it over there, so that's always great. And yeah, it's a great way to just get damage out of what would otherwise be just a jump super, whether it be you know, off the counter super or like off the throw, you know, just getting one of these. As long as you put in the practice, you can actually do more than that and build more meter. So that's always a good thing to keep in mind. And last but not least is X Factor. Uh, don't go, don't get too creative with it. You know, just keep it simple. He does a lot of damage already, and X Factor just amplifies that so much. So if you have meter to burn, by all means burn the meter. It's probably gonna be worth it to kill the character. He has the still has the loot from vanilla, and it's pretty easy to figure out. It's just uh, charging star and then the arrows over and over and over until you want to super them. So as long as you get the buffering down, it's no problem. And other than that, just watch for happy birthdays and know when he's gonna start falling fast because in level three X Factor he does fall really fast. So as you can see right there, the, what normally combos just doesn't work when he falls that fast. So that's just more stuff to keep in mind. And that's, that's about it. So I'm going to end the tutorial here and we'll continue with Spencer in the next section. And thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that helps me out. And until next time, uh, this is Dark M for the Old Faction. And have a great day. Take care.